<laughs> That's basically what I did to it. I just did a piping kit and HST intake. Hot side and cold side and uh, manifolds, up pipes, down pipes. Not tuned. Not tuned at all. It's compliant, yeah. All right, so what do you think so far? Um, yeah, you, you just pulled out of your driveway. I, ju I just pulled out of the driveway. <laughs> I don't really know yet, but I can tell you it's a really nice truck. What? I run off that, I'm gonna be 100% honest. The seat, the seat's better than the Dodge. Is it really? 100%, the way it grabs your back. Maybe for not like a really, really big guy, but like for me, it grabs my back. Perfect, I like it. Yeah, so when I ride, since I'm so short, I usually use my daughter's car seat in the back seat there. <laughs> it's vibrating my butt, what was that? Oh, yeah, that's the... Uh, because I would cross the lane. Yeah, you cross the lane, yeah. It lurch you if you're falling asleep, you know, that kind of thing. It doesn't do that for sure. <laughs> here's, here's, our, here's the exhaust brake. Exhaust brake on. So it, does it have the same settings as like in mine where you can yeah. have it on on? Or it's like, will it come on as soon as I let it off? Yeah, that's yeah, doing it right now. But you can't hear it. Uh -huh. But it definitely backs you off. Especially probably with a trailer. With a trailer, yeah. You'll notice it a lot easier. I mean, how do you think it tows? I mean, it tows, dude, like a dream. Absolutely like tows, a dream. Tows better than the LBZ? Yes. Well, we're at the old automated car wash, blasting some of this salt off Truckmaster's truck. About to give her some good, nice buffing on the sides of it. Look how it hits the window and some of it's freezing. Yeah. It's pretty cold in this car. <laughs> I gotta say, man, I really like how this thing drives. It drives, it drives better than the Dodge, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I think the Dodge would beat it in a race, but... I disagree. Mm, I don't know. No, I disagree. I we, might have to, we might have to find out. <laughs> well, your truck is tuned and stuff, too, so... No, it's not. It's stock. It's emissions compliant. Uh -huh. All right, we'll get on her a little bit here. Yeah, it'll sit you back. Yeah, it'll, it'll beat the Dodge. I can't shift that fast. <laughs> so, this video has been... Well, can turn into a complete disaster, but I want to post this content to you guys. I'm super excited to post it. And this is a huge deal. So as you guys can see right behind me, I have the second gen Dodge Cummins that we've been building on this channel for a while now. And this is a very big moment for us, okay? Because we're going to be installing a black market performance compound kit for this truck right here. So I'm going to get to that, but I'm in another state right now. I'm with my buddy Dylan in Mason. We're in his shop. And, uh, you know, when you travel, you try to do certain things. It's obviously things just aren't going to work out. We do have the RDS 363 turbo in here. It's going to be stacked to a S480. So that one's going to be on the bottom. So it's going to be a really, really cool setup. Exhaust housing, we need to use the one they sent us because it's HX40 on the hot pipe. Problem is exhaust housing they sent us is T4. It's not their fault, no. It's just how it happened. It's just how it happened. It, this, this kind of stuff, the chances you're going to get all this right the first time are very <coughs> slim. There's so many variables oh, yeah. with all the different sizes and they just, everything's different. But we're like, well, we can go rob the manifold off Mason's truck. So we did that. <laughs> Stealing my parts. So this is how this went down. Dude, all right, 12 so, degrees. So what are we doing with this, this thing over here? We're about to pull the manifold off of Mason's truck. You can see how cold it is right now. It's froze over. But we need that T4 manifold to do your compound install, so... <laughs> we're gonna rob it off his truck. We're gonna, we're gonna rob it. We're gonna rob it off his. Yeah. You ready, you ready to freeze? I'm ready, man. I say we just fire this old girl up, man. Yeah. Just take her down the road. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's see what we can do. We out here doing it. We doing a thing. We're doing a thing thing. We're pulling, pulling the turbo at 12 degrees, you know. How's your hands feel? Oh, they're fine. You feel them? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. It's a boy. Uh, we got a hold of our boy, Austin Denny. And this is just temporary, guys. It looks cool. Well, but actually, we got a hold of Cole. Cole, shout out Cole Garrity, got us the s475 400 but, bucks guys 400 dollars. they saved me a, a trip and the uh compressor housing with the, prob the problem was the other compressor housing we had was not v-band and for the twin kit you can see the other housing right there it doesn't have a v-band on it so it's like we got the turbo but we still had a hiccup but we were able to get hold of austin he sold us just the compressor housing so just for now just so we can get the kit installed you can get it all mocked up, make sure everything fits what good. What size is this one? This is a 7596 132. 
And this is a bullseye cover. Yeah, well, just for now, it's just temporary, guys, so we can get this video knocked out and get it mocked up. So when I get home, I'm just going to rip this thing out. May keep it, may sell it, I don't know. Whatever, it, it'd be a good spare tur turbo for something different. But we're just going to slap it in here so we can get everything mocked up. So let's talk about this kit, man. This is super exciting. Big shout out to Black Market Performance for all of their tremendous help. As you can tell, it's all raw. I'm going to be powder coating this stuff in the garage. We're kind of on a time crunch as well. So they were able to expedite shipping, but when I get home, I'm gonna go ahead and powder coat all these pipes right here. You guys let me know in the comments what color I should go with, but it's a very, very well put together, fabricated setup here. I'm really pumped about it. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description. Also, I did talk to their sales department and I told them I have a YouTube channel and I asked them, you know, hey guys, is there a way you can hook me up with a coupon code for my viewers in case you guys are looking into possibly upgrading your diesel truck as well. So the coupon code is TRUCKMASTER. I make $0 off of that. It's just to help some of you guys out that are watching that want this information and maybe save a buck or two. So I'll leave that link in the description. And again, huge shout out to them. Is I want you guys to go over and subscribe to Dirty Diamond Diesel's YouTube channel. I'll leave that link in the description as well. He's going to be a key asset to what we have going on with this truck. We're going to be firing this thing up hopefully tomorrow morning or if not tonight, we're going to be up till two in the morning. And then maybe may or may not be getting a rolling burnout shot with this. <laughs> so it's going to be really good. But like I said, subscribe to his channel because he's kind of making the same video. Uh, we're co-collaborating right now. So they sent us a, this is going to be our hot pipe. So we'll have our manifold charger to start with. We'll have to put our T4 manifold on. This is just temporary also. We'll have to flip that. And then they sent us a new exhaust housing for the S300 that's already on the truck because this will basically go to the hot pipe like we have there. So we have that. They sent us all of the clamps that we're going to need. Uh, this is for the uh, large turbo five inch outlet on the S400. This is going to be the down pipe. We'll probably have to weld this to your, um, the down pipe. Exist, we yeah. yeah in, in the existing. We'll make it yeah, work. We'll make it work. And this will be the inner stage pipe from the, S400 going into the S300, and then they also sent you a new filter as well. I also ordered the live spec OBD2, and this is basically something that if you do have a tune on your truck, you have either a CSP5 or a DSP5 for a Duramax or a Cummins, you can use this with your cell phone. It's really neat. You download the app on your phone, you plug this in the OBD2 port. It's kind of like a monitor, but it will also give you the options to be able to switch your tunes, whether or not you have a Cummins, Duramax platform, you will need different cables and whatnot to make it work to be able to switch the tunes. But the way that I understood it was, you know, you can read some parameters on your cell phone by plugging this in. And you can use your cell phone as a monitor. Yeah, you can use your cell phone as a monitor. And read and delete codes and change your tunes on the fly. Yeah. That's pretty slick. It's 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 very slick, that is for sure. And it's, look how small this thing is. And they give you a little mount for it and everything. Man, that is too cool. Very cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into the install and then we'll go ahead and fire it up. This is going to be pretty exciting, historic stuff going on. Yeah. Make sure you watch till the end. The turbo or the exhaust housing that he has to use on your turbo that they sent him is T4 and this is HX40. But the problem is they didn't really, it doesn't match up the uh, wheel there there's a big gap on the wheel so what he needs is an exhaust housing that's t4 and hx40 but will work with this turbo so whatever size wheel and this size this style exhaust housing no gate on it hx40 t4 so we just removed the center section of the turbo and we're gonna bolt this to the hot side. Just make it a little easier. We're not doing that in the truck. We can just go ahead and do it right here on the bench. And then the only thing we'll have to hook up in the truck for that is the uh, V-band. What he didn't tell you is we had to beat the crap out of the turbo <laughs> in order to remove it <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from yeah, the housing. That took a minute. Yeah. Stand on that, get it out of the way. So it's not revving. That's plenty big gap right there. Also, you want to make sure that you leave that clamp loose so you can swing this. Yeah. So once you install that mount, you're going to have plenty of room. And then once you're done, you're going to be able to tighten that clamp back up. We're going to go ahead and place the next center section on the top. 
So in your kit, go ahead and take your feed line itself, go ahead and route it to the top, take the other end, and you're actually going to plumb it right there. Now we're at a point where we have to mock up that downpipe, as you can see, it's connected to the S4 turbo. Um, one thing that we are gonna do, since I don't have the correct size, I did bring the MBRP exhaust system, it's just a four inch exhaust. I like it because it's gonna be a little quieter. I'm not really looking for something super loud because we know that these trucks can get really obnoxious. I loud anyways, you know what I mean. Goal here is to take this one from the MBRP kit and what we're gonna do is just size it up, cut it, weld it, and then get it fabbed up or mocked up in there. Um, and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the top. So we'll already have the exhaust ran on the bottom and then we'll go ahead and get to the rest of the install. Hopefully we can get her started up. So now we're here on the passenger side up underneath and right below that you see the turbo and you see the fittings that you're going to need to plumb to get this started so we're we basically just clock the turbo where we want it to sit so at this point guys we're going to go ahead and take that line included in the kit we're going to size it up and install it right there in these threads um, every time you cut this guys you want to have it taped otherwise if you just try to cut it right here it's just going to flare out these fittings can be pretty tricky to put together if you've never done it we were able to get everything done good job i know that wasn't easy it wasn't easy but um, we're gonna try to put it on so we're now at the point where we're able to move that turbo enough to where we can get the right fitment for this top pipe right here go ahead and plug away at this this is going directly to the intercooler and then once that's done we're going to go ahead and put the intake on and we should be good to go we have everything installed. Of course, we still gotta tighten up some clamps and get things squared away. However, we had to cobble it just a little bit because a few parts were missing in the kit, to be honest with you. So what I'm gonna do is when I get home, I'm gonna go ahead and get a hold of the company, have them send me everything that I need. Then we'll go ahead and get back into the actual install of installing the RDS lower turbo down here, as well as the correct exhaust housing on the back and a few other little odds and ends. But once I get everything done and then we powder coat it, I think we should be able to get this video closed out. And I think you guys are gonna love it once we take this thing on a rip. We are uh, done. <laughs> We're done. We haven't started it yet though. We have not fired her up, but she is good. Super pumped, truck is on the ground. We just installed the exhaust system. Dude, thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Pumped, I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm sure we were up till two in the morning last night. Two in night. the morning, running around, getting parts. Got everything, got the exhaust on. Uh, twin turbos are on, or oh. um, compound turbos, sorry about uh, that. Yeah, compounds. Sorry guys, compound uh -huh. turbos, they're not twins. Yeah, and, uh, someone's gonna lose their mind. We're, we're about to do the first fire up, see what it sounds like, with an exhaust kit, with compounds. It's gonna be pretty cool. We are going to do, in the natural aspect of things, saying dump bed, is we are going to do an axle dump. You guys see that? So, you guys let me know in the comments which size tip I should go with on the bottom of that. We are talking about 24 inch tip? 24 inch tip, yeah. 24? Okay. No, no, but seriously, that's the only way to do it because once the bed picks up, and I do have a tailpipe back there, it will hit, guys, so I won't have the clearance. So this is the only way that I can do it. I'm not a huge axle dump fan, but it does sound pretty cool. I'm glad I went with the four inch exhaust. Yeah, the four inch, I, I think you'll like the four inch. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a lot quieter than you think. I don't think you realize how quiet it's gonna be. Then our last test drive? Get back with you and we'll go ahead and maybe take it on a test drive, not too sure. But we gotta get that temperature up. Today, 
I'm thinking I like it a right. lot. You want to hear it? It just turned off for some reason. Yeah, you didn't uh, you didn't put any fuel in it, man. I don't think I don't know. I mean, I, we could be wrong, but it isn't really reading much on the fuel gauge. Yeah. Can I go ahead and try to start it? Yeah, I think I think it's gonna, I think it's out of fuel, man. Oh man. It acts like it's out of fuel. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, we might have to pull this back to the house. Should be behind the steering wheel. What's going on here? Well, I, you got a lot of trust in me because we got a short strap. But yeah, we really got to get on the brakes. So. Yeah, we have no power brakes. I can. I got. I got a strong foot. I've been in the gym. We're good. Oh yeah. Okay. We're not going far. Let's hope we can make the turn back into the driveway. We should be fine. Dang man. Dang Earl. Hey, run, run that diesel on our first test drive. What's going on? Dude, I was nervous. I thought something happened. I was like, what would cause this truck to die? I, I honestly like, thought it was that crap it. turbo that we threw on there. Just I think to it was get it going. It out. Yeah, I thought like one of the turbo the turbo wheel itself just kind of seized up in there. Yeah, I, I could tell just from driving though we're really not gonna be able to get on it much with what we got going on. It's no big deal, man. Uh, again, I gotta reiterate it guys. Watch his YouTube video as well. He'll be posting one on the same content. Um, on his perspective of the video itself. Yep. So I think it'll be great. Thank you. What's it rated to lift? Uh, 4,000 pounds, I think. 4,000 pounds. It looks good. Two ton of gravel. I'm going to use it a lot. Yeah, Earl for sure be using it. Mm -hmm. Earl's tree service. While I'm here, might as well fill up. And then, of course, that. It's actually empty, so I know it's for gas. But diesel's expensive, guys. It really is. I just timed out $74. <laughs> so we'll see where this ends up. $74 when it clicked off and 57 so like $134 bucks of fuel. Kind of expensive, but it is what it is. I think we're ready to go. You ready? All right, let's do it. tank was when we installed the air dog and oh everything. really yeah yeah so that's the fuel that actually you dumped it in there yeah yeah was, so that was so five gallons my fault maybe <laughs> no no it's mine i didn't put diesel in i should have all the stuff that i've that's been going on this week man trying to get everything squared away the last thing that i can think of was the turbo and diesel so but it is what it is we're all well, human we got five gallons in it fired right up didn't even have to bleed the lines or anything it just started so we're good yeah yeah we're we good. already had heat in it so it sounds good. Um, appreciate you and your buddies, your team, everybody. Dylan, Mason, all them guys. Bailey, you've helped me out tremendously too. Thank you, man. That's his brother, by the way. Yeah. But um, 
But yeah, guys, so that's it. I'm going to go ahead and hit the road. I need to get home. And we're going to keep plugging away on this twin kit. I'm going to put the right turbos on there this time. And hopefully we get everything, all the pieces in, in line. And I'm going to get everything powder coated. Again, let me know in the description below or the comments below what color we should go with. What color should I go with? I don't know. That's on the piping call. kit. I think I mean, white. You said white, but... Too, too much? No, I don't know. Maybe it's... What do you think, Bailey? White wouldn't look bad. What do you think, Mason? White. What do you think? White. Oh, okay. I, I think I think if you just do just the compounds white, I think it'll break it up. And then what about the pipes? Like black? I don't know. Well, I'm saying just just the compounds being white maybe. And yeah, maybe, it'll break it up. Maybe just the cold side pipe. Yeah. And that's that's pretty much the only white I would do. I like your thinking, sir. The reason why we weren't able to take it on the road out one A was we ran out of fuel, and B, um, guys, it just not it's not running right. I mean, when we had the single turbo on there, it was definitely a lot better, a lot more enjoyable. Yeah, just all the, the turbine sizes and the exhaust housings are both off. Uh, the com the compressor cover that we had to use on the large atmosphere turbo is is off, and then the exhaust turbine on the manifold charger is off too. So it won't build any boost just sitting here. But at least we were able to get your mocked exhaust up. all done. It's all mocked up. Pull that stuff off, powder coat it, put the right turbo parts back on there, and you're good. It shifts really, really good. You can feel it. I it's, love it's it. It's firm. It's a constant pressure valve constant body. Constant pressure stuff. valve body. It's all Garen stuff. So, yeah. Guys, that's it for this video. We'll see you on the next one. See you later, guys. Peace. Stay tuned. Oh, stay tuned. <laughs>